Good morning, everybody, and happy Sabbath. I hope you are having a wonderful and blessed day and staying very warm. I want to talk to you today about a receipt. Now, I know that's not a normal thing that people think about wanting to talk about, but it has a point today, and I'm going to make it. I have several receipts here. One for, well, actually two for just one item each, and then I have one that has a length of items on it. And that's from Fry's. I shop at Fry's for groceries. And so I bought things like ice cream, ooh, yummy, and sweet potatoes, and pasta, uh, cottage cheese, avocado, bananas, and bread. So that's good. And with all the things that I bought, it came out to $64.36. However, because I used coupons and I'm a savvy shopper, I saved $24.46 on this order. That's pretty good. And now, the other two are for items that I only purchased one thing of. And this one was for a covered um, cooking pan, and it cost $32.38, but it's one of the nice non-stick ones, and it's rather large, so it was worth it to me. And then this one was for gas for my car, and that cost $17.71. Not bad, considering my car is pretty small. Now, the nice thing about all these receipts is, in the lieu of things, they mean absolutely nothing. I keep them because I jot the prices down in my um, log book so I know how much I spent and I can deduct that from my account, but they really mean nothing. Now there is one receipt that means everything, and the only item on that receipt is you. Now I know that sounds kind of odd, how can I be on the receipt? That makes no sense, but it does because God purchased you with his own blood and you were the only thing on the receipt that he purchased with that blood. So I want to encourage you, every time you look at a receipt, whether it's at Fry's or Walmart or going to get gas and you get a receipt printed out, I want you to remember that you are paid with the price of the blood of Jesus Christ and that you are well loved. Have a blessed